Hello Internet, this is Justin Ichikawa from the TOSA Karate Studio. Today what we're going to talk about are four different ways to tie your belt. Whether it's Karate, whether it's Taekwondo, whether it's Jiu Jitsu. I don't know about Kung Fu, I think you all have sashes. But regardless, please follow along as I do these steps nice and slow. Let's get right into it, here we go. Alright, so here's the first tie that we're going to be doing. This is a generic, straightforward tie. It's one we teach in our school to all our beginners. We'd like to have our belts even. What we're gonna do is we're gonna fold the belt in half. So we're gonna match the ends over on this side and then we follow the other end. This is gonna be our middle point of our belt. So I'm gonna take that end, I'm gonna start it right in the center of my stomach. I'm gonna wrap it all the way around and I'm gonna cross it in an X in the back. So now when you cross it in the back, generally, what happens is the belt has a little bit of a twist to it, as you can see. So what I like to do is I like to do a, like an okay symbol, so it looks kinda like this, <laughs> gotcha. So I'm gonna take this here, I'm gonna run it from the back of the belt and kinda smooth it out so it ends up straight. So that way if you look at the back of my belt, it straight lines all the way through. It just, you know, you don't have to do that, it just, I don't know. It looks a little nicer, it feels a little nicer, some people like it. So as soon as I get to that spot, now I have two sides, I'm gonna make an X for them. The one on the top is gonna do all the work, okay? So I'm gonna take that top one and it's gonna go underneath the piece of belt that's closest to my stomach. So I'm gonna take that, and what you can do is you could just take the end of it like a snake's head and you could run it up the middle. You could reach down in there and grab it. It's whatever you feel comfortable with. So I'm gonna take that end, I'm gonna put it right underneath that piece of belt. I'm gonna pull either side till it's straight. At this point, we wanna make sure that our belt is even. Even meaning that I have both ends meeting together at the end. So now with that same one that went on top before, it's gonna go on top again. So the one pointed upward is gonna go on top again to make another X. I'm either gonna reach inside this loop or I will take the top piece and I will go right inside of that hole right there. I'm gonna take either end and I'm gonna pull it. Real quick, swift motion, I'm gonna pop my belt outward. You don't wanna pop it backwards, you just wanna pop it straight out and so it should have a nice tight knot at the end. In the very end, it should look like two bunny ears. So that is version numero uno. All right, now the second version that we have, it will end the same, but it will start a little different, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a piece of belt about, I don't know, from like, about my arm width, I wanna say. I wanna start that right in the center of my body. So I'm gonna take that piece and I'm gonna wrap it all the way around. And it's gonna overlap the piece I started with. So the other remaining belt over here is gonna overlap and go right on top of that piece of belt. I'm gonna go all the way around one more time so it comes around full circle. And notice when I do this in the back, I don't even have to do that okay symbol all the way around because it actually lays straight on its own. So it's kind of convenient that way. Now as soon as I have this, I wanna again, as I did before, I'm gonna take the top piece and I'm gonna put it underneath both pieces of belt. And I'm just gonna go all the way up just like that. And my same top piece I'm gonna, that's pointed upward, I'm gonna put it on top to make an X just like I did before. Should look like the Jack in the Box fish right here. I'm gonna take that top piece right here and I'm gonna put it right inside this loop or I can either reach in and I can grab that loop and I can pull all the way through. So again, when I'm all done, I snap it nice and tight and it should look like two bunny ears. Straighten myself up, make my look all fancy. So that's version number two. Now this next version that we're gonna be doing starts the same way as the first one. I'm gonna start it right in the middle of my stomach. I'm gonna wrap it all the way around. Okay, when I wrap it all the way around, again, when I cross it in the back, I wanna do my little okay symbol. Did I get you again? I'm gonna go all the way to the back and I'm gonna wrap it back around in the front so that way I have a smooth, even lines, even lines in the back. Okay, so I'm gonna take that piece and it's gonna go again under both pieces of belt and then you can pull it out just like that. Now at this point, this is a little different. I'm gonna take one of the pieces on the side here. So this is the same piece right here. This is the right side, we'll say. And the right side, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my piece of belt, that one that's pointed upward, I'm gonna put it right here inside that little piece. Okay, but I wanna leave a little bit of open space. If you can see right here, right there. So this little loop, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the other end and we're gonna put it right in that loop. And I'm gonna grab both sides and I'm gonna pull it. And again, we wanna snap like two bottom fists. Boom, and pop it out. Okay, now this last one is my personal favorite. This is how I tie my belt here at my school, just myself. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold the belt in half just like I did before, except this time instead of starting it in the middle just like this, I'm gonna take one end, the folded end in my left hand, take the open end in my right hand, and I'm gonna take these open ends and I'm gonna feed it through this little opening right here, and I'm gonna pull it so it's all the way, not too tight, but you wanna give it a nice comfortable feeling. I'm gonna take my two ends here, so I have a top end and a bottom end. I'm gonna take the bottom end, I'm gonna put that bottom end underneath these two pieces of belt right here. So it's here, I'm gonna put it underneath those two pieces, just like that, and then I'm gonna take it, the same one that went inside over here, and I'm gonna put it on top again, in a little X, I'm gonna feed it right inside this loop, I'm gonna pull it super tight, boom, and I'm gonna snap it, and then again, in the end, it should look like two bunny ears, just like that. So you have four ways of tying your belt. 
good for you. Here are a couple ways how not to tie your belt. How not to tie your belt. Yeah, because, and the... Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys all learned something today. Uh, if you didn't learn something today, then uh, maybe you should stop watching. Please subscribe if you haven't yet already. I put out a video every Monday. If you have any questions about belt tying, please leave it in the comments below. Uh, if you enjoyed this film and you think that it helped and it was relevant and it didn't suck, I want you to please hit the like button. Until next time, Tongue Soup.